So, hi everybody, Craig Hansen, the club golfer's nightmare. If you're not getting the compression that you're after, if you're not getting the consistency of strike that you're after, shaft lean, lag, and if you're having directional issues, guys, I've got a fantastic video here for you when we really have a look at the truth of the movement of the club golfer. And we're gonna supply you with some feels, some drills later on the video to clean this up. At the moment, we're looking at a professional on the left of the screen and a professional on the right of the screen. And we're seeing that the entry into the golf ball is almost identical, although they had different positions at the top. So I'm gonna show you an easier way to go about doing it. And when you're looking at the top of the swing here, we're seeing one club face position. Now we have a three knuckle grip on the lead hand, meaning that when you look down at your grip, you're seeing three knuckles or more of your logo. And when you get pretty close to a flat left wrist, you've got the club face, you know, pointed towards your ear. Now, the golfer on the right hand side, even though they had the same entry, has more of a one knuckle grip. And this club head is pointing down. Now this is more difficult, especially if you haven't played junior golf and maybe you're not the most skilled individual. I don't mean it bad, but the closer we get to the correct entry, the better we hit it. Now we'll watch this professional on the right. Watch his hands here on the right side here how they bow down. Can you see that move at the top here? And we've got a bit of a bowing motion down that right wrist here is gonna pick up in angle. So he's actually squaring the face up. That's hard, that's talent. But we know a lot of people are already bowed at the top like Dustin Johnson, might see a Jordan Spieth or a John Rahm. And you know, a lot of these players are bowing their wrists coming downwards to square up the face. Now for club golfers, if you can't do this, you're better off being with a three knuckle grip and already being a bit sharp. Cause I'm gonna show you in a second that the club golfer actually does the opposite to that. They actually open the face up. It's quite amazing. You'll also see with this professional on the right here, watch this hand slightly in extension, this leader is, but it's gonna bow slightly down. And they don't know they do that, right? They just do it because they're, you know, they're good. But we are gonna steal some of this information because we want to get closer to this position, no matter what. Now let's have a look here at, let's have a look here at a club player. And um, you know, we'll get a line here up at around 53 degrees. It's normally around the belt buckle area. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of videos coming your way. When we get up to the top here, all right, we're gonna see this club face actually is in a pretty good place there, but he's, now he's gonna to start to open it. And that face, he's opened it already. So club gobbles will open up the face coming down. And then they need to use the right shoulder so much to rotate. If he comes from the inside with an open face, he's gonna hit it over here. So he comes well over the top. Now if I pop up a line here, just bear with me, just check this out, pop up a line here over the golf ball. You can imagine that that's a wall, all right? And we just wanna collect the ball in the wall down the bottom. So, but unfortunately, when we see this move from the top, you know, when we start to open up the face, you know, sort of, sort of subconsciously, the right shoulder has to sort of rotate and the right tricep excessively. And it comes down sort of in front of the hands here, but it crashes into the wall. And now you've got a couple of things against you, right? You've got an open face, the glancing blow. That's just not gonna work. You know, you've got to collect the ball and the wall down the bottom. You've got to hit the ball from the you know, correct path with a square face to sort of propel a golf ball down the line. You know, you, you can't have your best pants on and you know, and your best shoes and hopefully it's gonna work. So, you know, that's a fair that's a fair bit away. So what we did is, yeah, we cleaned it up a little bit. Now, you yeah, know, with this gentleman, what I, what I sort of did was, you know, he doesn't play, he doesn't have the time to get out there and pound balls all day long. So I. I, sh I shut the face a little bit. I got a bit of a stronger grip, got a really flat left wrist. And then when he opened it up, I got him to sort of hit out a little straighter. So, you know, you can't have too much in your head, right? You got to, the dominating thought's gotta be the ball. And, but when he opened up the face, he still sort of opens up the face there, just a touch. He sort of brought it down, you know, into the, into the slot. And from here, he's not crashing into the wall and hit a lot, you know, hit a lot of better shots. So a lot of people, when you're, when you're filming swings and you're having a look, even people that are not coming from the outside, they're still laying the club back and from here they're gonna really flip it. So guys, right, looking at this position at the top, your position, your style of grip here, I'm gonna show you two different grips, two different positions at the top, and it's up to you to find this position, and this is gonna make it you know, so much easier as we see millions of people really opening up the face coming down. So let's have a look at this because I mean, we've really been able to improve so many people. This is just a, a segment from the deep to shallow the swing style, swing series. It's just uh, the feedback there has been simply overwhelming, helping so many people on worldclassgolf.com.
Guys, right, looking at a four knuckle grip, what does it mean? Well, when you take your grip and you look down, right, you're going to be seeing knuckle one, two, three, four, all four knuckles. So the lead wrist is going to have a curve or it's going to move into extension here. Now, I want that curve gone at the top. Your right hand situated perfectly on top, somewhere like a Bernard Langer grip. What a ball striker. And for a lot of people that haven't played junior golf, this makes it much easier. This might be the position for you. Let's have a look. Now, when I get to the top of the swing, Okay, we're going to take it back, we're going to get the left wrist flat. And with the club face, the sole of the club is obviously a lot higher than the arm or the lead arm position, the lead forearm. So that's shut. But for you, or for some, some of the people out there, this, when you open it up, this might be the perfect position. So that club head comes slightly down on this side of 12, it's level with the hands or slightly behind the hands. Now this position could be, for a few people, getting a bit too shut. Okay. So we're going to move it back to a three knuckle, and a three knuckle grip, McElroy Fleetwood moving in this direction. So guys, right, let's have a look at club face position at the top so we get an understanding of what uh, technique really is. And when we're looking at uh, the lead arm and the club face, we're matching up at the top in a neutral position, in a great position. That's it right there. And we see the club face on the other side with Cameron Smith, it's in a different position. You know? And so the higher this line is, the more close the club face is. So we can see that uh, in this video, his club face position is higher than the lead arm, right? So that's more close. So it's easier to draw it. You know, it's easier to come down from the inside and you know, not open up the face. So for a lot of people, like Cameron, when he brings the club down, it comes down really into a perfect position. So this is an interesting one for the club player. All right, so when we get a clock up here over the face, this is the entry into the ball. How do we know it? We feel my, feel my swing. So this uh, swing on the left here was filmed with the mobile phone. Right, look at the clarity of the club face and the shaft. Nice. If you don't have flight scopes and track mans and all that type of thing, if you want to, you know, get a great idea of, you know, great ball striking, bring the club in slightly behind the hands of this position. The closer you get to that position, the better you're going to hit it. Now, unfortunately, what are we seeing? Club players, even enough, like, even that's enough for poor, poor ball striking. You know, you're going to flip it. It's not just cutting it. It's, it's flipping it and losing the compression of the golf ball. It's just not a good position to be. Now, we need to have a look at the modern day players and, and you know players that have bowed wrists and they're stronger positions because they're getting more sharply and they're hitting it further, they're hitting it harder. Have a look at Hovland here, it's the same thing. You're looking at the best players in the world and all you have to do is get closer to these positions people. Filming your swings, your mobile phones. This is what we're showing in World Class Golf Instruction, right? How to use the apps, how to get in there and film your swing. That's an important part of your golf these days. You know, understanding how to grip it's obviously extremely important, but for people that haven't played junior golf, look at the strong grip, the weak grip, that's just nasty stuff, right? And you want to be moving on and into this. I remember Tiger Woods in 2000, you know, when he mentioned a two and a half knuckle grip, but what he did explain really well is, it, is you know, looking at this line created between the thumb and the forefinger, looking how easily we see the logo and the second knuckle. I just do, you do some of the lessons, you see people coming in with just, just not gripping it good. You know, just got, got about every single top instructor talking about strong grips. Get a strong grip. I'm going to get a lead wrist into a great position. All right, let's get further on into the next part. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. And join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. A three knuckle grip, four knuckle grip, you get more play and movement out of the joint, more speed, better compression, and you're better off sort of fighting, you know, drawing the ball too much than fighting hitting huge pulls and cuts and, you know, all that sort of thing, you know, flipping it down the bottom. What a massive cause for how many club golfers coming through and flipping it and having all sorts of trouble. So a three knuckle grip, then we get to the top, and when we get a flat left wrist, we can see that the club head is not as shut. And this could be the one for you, either four or three, and then bring that club head down and you've probably got that position. Now I know that we can all get in there and bow the lead wrist down and do all these things, but how, how many people is that really helping? Or how many people has it helped? You know, we've all seen those, the videos doing that. And sure, when I've, I've helped people that have hit enough golf balls doing it, but something like this is just easier. You might not have the time to hit hundreds and hundreds of golf balls. Four knuckle grip, four knuckle grip, flat left wrist, and you get yourself in a much better position. So guys, have a look at that. It's just a piece, as I said, of the deep to shallow swing style, but understanding your own swing, getting in there and filming your swings with your mobile phones, and you know, 
making a better movement coming down. This could be a real opener, an eye opener for you. We've been able to drop so many handicaps and improve so many people with the deep to shallow swing style. Guys, thanks for watching. Online lessons, craighansongolf.com. Hope you enjoyed it. Online lessons also on worldclassgolf.com and on Skillers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.